say that he is that yeah. safe? Yeah. <laughs> Let us start. <laughs> It's my dress. My dress is from Shein. Um, I got it in a size small, but I could have gotten away with an extra small, to be quite honest. The stretch here is really quite um, intense, but I like how it looks either way. It fits like a glove. It's a one shoulder rouge tight fitting chocolate dress perfect for day night okay the lighting here is not secret okay that's way. yeah perfect for day night cute or at the blonde bob wig to complete the nude Turns. If I can put it like that. Yep, to complete the nude totes. Cutie pie, she's from Zara. These are like my go to heels <laughs> because they are like the perfect height for everyday stuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but anyway, this is our first time dining at this um, venue. It's called the Ninth Avenue Waterside Restaurant, and it looks really cute. Very cute. But it's a function, so we can't really sit at the top. So, must I start again? No, you can go ahead. Can okay. Go ahead. So, the muscles done in two ways. The okay. first way is very classic, where the muscles are steamed in a white wine broth. The second way, the muscles are steamed in a musty wine broth, a bit of coconut running through it, fresh shredded green apples, coriander, rice cracker, and spring onion. Yeah. Baked chamomile cheese with house-made granola, fresh orange segments, uh, minted honey, and apple chutney. Okay. Main. It's tomahawk steak. It's 800 grams. It comes with an onion puree, uh, crispy onions, a baby spinach salad, uh, and truffle fries on the side. And how much does that go for? 575. Okay. Pan seared duck breast. No, that's what I'm about. He likes it. <laughs> On a carrot and cumin puree, a barley ragu, and root vegetables with a bit of duck shoes. Swordfish. Star grilled with a uh, balguita chickpea salad, an apple and cucumber slaw, and the apple cider beurre blanc. That's the sauce. The last one is sea bream on a gazpacho <laughs> with tomato <laughs> and pepper sauce. My idea for gazpacho is cold, but this gazpacho is not cold. It's warm. It's warm. I know gazpacho, I, I've always known gazpacho to be uh, cold, but this one is not cold. So what you're getting is a broth at the bottom, and you're getting fish, and you're getting a pineapple sauce at the top. Okay. With a bit of greens on the side. That's what you're getting. No, I know what I'm having. Okay. The beef fillet for a May. Do you know what you're having for starters? I would like to ask you What do you recommend? I would have the sea cream. No doubt. Or the green prawns. No doubt. No, not prawns. So what does the sea cream have? The sea cream. It comes on the gazpacho broth with a bit of vegetables on the side and a pineapple sauce at the top. It's a flaky fish. Oh no, that's like. for um, mains, right? Yep. No, no for starters. starters. I would have the mussels. The second one. The second mussel. The one with the massimai broth, fresh shredded green apple, okay. spring onion, okay. coriander, okay. and the rice cracker. Okay, you have that. It's got a bit I will of a bite have... to it. Not blow your head off though. Crispy no, fried fine. calamari. <laughs> Who's gonna have the crispy fried calamari? I will. And okay. he Who's will have, have the Yes. <coughs> yes. Thank you. Okay, these are my starters. This is fried calamari. And then we have a bowl of mussels there for Mr. Put some red wine. It smells really nice. I wonder if it tastes good. Yummy. Me. So yummy. Mine smells really nice. Such as Hasuta Spagman. <laughs> Even the bottle of wine is still. Sorry? Do you want me to pack or you still be no, Please. Please, to pack. Yeah. We didn't know Done. Uh, stuff like this. But it's, it's really? very good. It was really good. Been done. We're so toxic. Can't get enough. Ooh, I'll go and say it like a mantra. You know what you want, do ya? Yeah.